Okay, FAQ number 102. Question comes up, what about tattoos and piercings? Well, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28 says here, Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. So, that's the clear scripture right there. Cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Now you say, what about piercings? Well, piercings are not technically, you're not cutting your flesh for the dead. You know, some woman doesn't say, I'm going to get earrings because my grandmother just died or something like this. Uh, no, uh, a lot of times the... A lot of heathen cultures, they would actually cut themselves um, and bleed because, you know, that was some kind of a thing of, of you know, the grieving process, essentially. You can get into deeper stuff in there. But it was basically part of the grieving process. You lost grandpa, grandma, mother, father, brother, sister, child, whatever. And uh, the Lord's telling the children of Israel there, don't do that. And, uh, you know, nor print any marks upon you. Uh, that would be tattoos. That's what tattoos are. Um, if you obviously, if you're going someplace and you need to write down a number or something, you write it on your hand. Well, you're not, you're not. It's not a permanent thing there that you're doing as some kind of a ceremonial, whatever. Okay, it's not a tattoo. Um, so, uh, but it's ironic because actually the thing of earrings, um, they're a sign of slavery. The Bible talks about taking an awl and boring a hole through and stuff like that. You know. To, to mark somebody being a slave. So it's kind of a weird thing why people have pierced ears. Um, I know a lot of women do and, and things like that, but it, you can't really show me a scripture in the Bible that, that uh, tells you have, you to have pierced ears. Uh, you know, am I going to fault some woman for having pierced ears? No, no. It's it's again one of those standards that it's it's not something that's like, oh boy, God, you can't be right with God if you have pierced ears. No, you know, I don't I don't see it that way. But it's it's just a thing that you look at scripture, you go, okay, it never says to pierce your ears as a woman. Um what's the point of it? Uh you know, it's just to wear pretty earrings or something like this. Men should not have earrings. It, I think it it's effeminate. Um so uh that's what I would say to that. But you say, well, shouldn't we have New Testament scriptures? Well, uh, yes, you should. And this has actually come up recently. Uh, I've been talking about this thing of interracial marriage, and I said, you know, in the Old Testament, people say, you know, well, you're going back to the Old Testament to prove that interracial marriage is wrong. And I say, yeah, but, you know, you go back to the Old Testament to prove that uh, tattoos are wrong. There's no New Testament, no clear scripture in the New Testament saying you shouldn't get a tattoo or print any marks upon you. Um but what you do have here as a uh, instruction in righteousness, um, okay, found it. I'd look it up for a minute there. First uh, Corinthians chapter three, verse sixteen and seventeen says, "Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are." Now, see, I would compare that to what's going on back in Leviticus nineteen. But you could make the point, well, if you get a tattoo, it doesn't destroy the temple. It just kind of defiles it. Yeah, you can make that point. See, that's why I can't just use 1 Corinthians 3, verse 16 and 17 as the sole scripture against tattoos. I can't use that. Another one over here in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, uh, verse 19 says, What know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body in your, and in your spirit, which are God's. So when you take your body and you print marks upon it, or even when you get put holes in it and you put a bunch of holes in it and piercings and stuff, and even just, not even the ears, but then you get into the weird stuff, the nose and the tongue and the other areas that we won't mention, you know, and it's just like, when you start doing that stuff, you're showing contempt for what God made. And uh, certainly that's there. Um, but, you know, you have to compare Scripture with Scripture. And again, you say, why would you go back to Leviticus 19 to prove something for Christians today? Well, for the same reason Paul went back in the other FAQ video there, Paul goes back and quotes the Law of Moses, talking about uh, not muzzling the mouth of the ox that treadeth out the corn. Uh, there's a lot in the Old Testament that God wrote down once, and he said, okay, that sticks. That's there. 
And if you don't see it undone in the Pauline epistles, it says, hey, the unclean and clean meats thing is undone. Well, we don't see that with uh, printing ink marks upon you and piercings, cutting in, in your flesh. Uh, so that's why I believe that we should stick with the Old Testament there. Uh, Leviticus 19, no tattoos and piercings. Yeah, it's kind of shaky ground there. Um, so that's my answer to that question.